Lowrance, North Star and Simrad are changing the pulse of marine radar. These three Navico brands have introduced a revolutionary new radar system unlike anything else on the recreational boating market. Utilising solid state technology, this breakthrough radar solution provides superior target detection and separation, ease of operation and a new level of navigational safety for a wide range of boats. But anyway, on the screen now you can clearly see the two beacons out in front of us here, the red one and the yellow one. And you'll be able to see it go right past the boat itself. Not see this now on a normal radar that close to the boat. Yeah, yeah. Very impressed, very impressed. It's really compared to the old technology, the, the full-on radar. Um, it's just another uh, another dimension, really. Yeah, it's ready to go out of the packet, which is always handy. Navigation in an instant. No more waiting two or three minutes for a magnetron to warm up. 100% solid state design provides instant on capability. So I've just turned the unit on and um, the first thing that comes up on the screen is just your accepted screen to say that you're ready. So I'll say yes, I accept it. And straight away the radar's in standby mode, ready to go. So you don't have to sit there and wait 30 seconds, 90 seconds, three minutes, depending on the radar. So I can go menu, straight away, transmit, get out of that menu and then the radar starts working. Um, I've had technicians on the boat trying to play with this radar and tune it and they can't get it any better than what the auto feature is. So when you take this thing out of the box, plug it in, it's ready to go straight away. There's no no tuning needed, there's no, oh, there's, there's a couple of installations like you tell it how high the radar is off the water but that's not a hard thing to do. Um, running the radar cable itself, we don't have large plugs on one end, oh sorry, one on one end and only a, a smaller one on the other. Um, you don't have to worry about sort of cutting larger holes for it. Plus it's, um, it's an Ethernet connection so it's quite easy to plug in. There's no sort of soldering involved. They, we come, it comes with a little boot to cover up on the other end, so installation's great. And we're in real close quarters here at the moment, so you've only got probably 10, 15 metres either side, and we can clearly see the boats. We can see the empty, empty little pens and everything next to us. We can see right back to where we were before. We're, we, we are zoomed in very close at the moment, but you can still see the definition, which you, know, you just don't see that on other radars in this sort of area. So the, the radar itself is not just based at sort of little boats, of course we're trying to get it on all size boats. Everything from, you know, like, like our 625 cruise craft we've got here now, right through to your super yachts. Um, even things like, if I get around the corner here a bit further, um, boats that have got low target rails or radar arches at the back of the boat itself, um, like you can see this meridian that we've got around the corner here. Um, if you put a radar, a normal radar on the top of these things, you've got to make sure people are within a certain a distance or away from the radar itself because of the radiation coming out of them. Because Lowrance, North Star and Simrad's broadband radar transmits at 1 20,000th the power of typical pulse radars, the radome is safe to mount in locations never before possible. Um, some of your larger radars, the open envelopes and stuff can be sort of 10, 12 metres, if not more is a safe distance to be sitting in it. With this radar we've actually got certificates to show that it's safe enough for hugging it. You can sit there and hug the dome as the big boss in New Zealand said. I'm quite happy with that I think. Yeah the actual power output itself is less than a mobile phone so it's there's not much to worry about at all. Lowrance, North Star and Simrad's broadband radar provides amazing target resolution even at an unprecedented 132nd of a nautical mile range. Docks, channel markers, moored vessels and other critical targets are displayed with clarity and separation for added confidence at close quarters. But anyway, on the screen now you can clearly see the two beacons out in front of us here, the red one and the yellow one. And I'll move closer to one, to one of them and you'll be able to see it go right past the boat itself. Like, I'll keep saying it, you would not see this now on a normal radar that close to the boat. Yeah, yeah. So here's another example quarter of a nautical mile, um, it's not a huge distance but we can still see the birds on the radar, we can clearly see them on the screen here, they're showing up as a big target, fair enough there's a few pelicans in there as well, um, but yeah you can definitely see them quite clearly on the screen. Now that's the first time I've seen them, or tried to see them and it's worked, so that's a pretty good, pretty good example really. I've got a lot of faith in this product. 
So now we're going to see if we can chase this parasailer down. We can see him on the radar, but we just got to clearly point out to the camera that it's definitely what we're looking at. So we'll try and catch up to him. If I can see him here anyway. And you can see the boat and then the parasailer behind it. So now we're looking at a kayak. It's just under a quarter of a mile off. And you can see him quite clearly on the screen. Yeah, so, so we're looking at a kayak and just dropped off the screen a little bit there and now we can see him right in front of the boat. Normal radar just would not pick up that type of thing that close to the boat. So across the screen here you can see the bridge. We can see a boat anchored up in front of it. We can see the beacon just off to the starboard side of the boat now. It's a solid target at the moment. As we get closer to it, the beam angle itself will be able to get underneath and we'll be able to see all the individual pylons coming up across the screen. Of course, we can see the bridge, but other things like beacons and stuff that they come up on the water, if you, if you can't see it inside the sunlight, you'll be able to see them on the radar image. Especially that glare that comes off, you sort of you can't see past it, so when you'll be able to see it on the screen, I think it's a good safety feature to start with. As we're getting closer to the bridge, you can see the superstructure across the top. And then, as we're nearly, we're nearly coming up to it now, we can start to see all the individual pylons on the screen. You can see these solid, sort of big targets coming across. Now we're going underneath the bridge, of course, so we're going to lose the image a little bit. If I speed up just that little bit more, once we get out the other side, we'll be able to see them even better again. With not having to use any gain, no changing of settings or anything, automatic feature just picks it up. It can't be any easier to use. So we're coming into Paradise Point Marina here now. Um, once again, you can clearly see on the screen that all the swing moorings, um, the boats themselves on the swing moorings, even though the swing moorings are right near the bow of the boat, you can still see the difference between the two. Coming up to individual swing moorings here, you can see them on the screen. It's just, I think, like on a normal radar, this should all be red or green, or depending on what colour they're talking on the screen at the moment, on the time. So. Broadband technology also eliminates the main bang of a pulse radar, that obscured dead zone immediately around the vessel, which interferes with close target detection. In addition, the lowest DC power draw of any X-band marine radar makes this system ideally suited for sailboats and other vessels with limited power supplies. It's absolutely fantastic. You've got to actually see it in operation to appreciate just how good it is. I mean, my experience goes back to the old cathode ray tubes and um, there were huge units and uh, you had to wait for them to paint the picture and, and today with this out here we were doing 30 knots and the picture was as steady as a rock. It was really incredible. And the chart overlay, where the chart is overlaid over the image, makes it extremely easy, particularly for people first time users, it just makes it so graphic, it's, it's tremendous. So we're looking at the chart plotter at the moment with the radar overlay on, we can clearly see that there's two, I keep saying clearly but anyway, it is clear, but um, you can clearly see the two beacons straight ahead of us, you can see there's, without the radar overlay you wouldn't know there's any boats inside Wave Break Island, and now with the radar overlay on we can see them there on the screen. There's so many applications that you could use that for, it's opened up a whole new, whole new uh, usage for, for anglers and boaties, sailors, everything. This is the biggest revolution in radar since 1942, so check out the Lowrance, North Star or Simrad websites for more information.